Hello everyone. Today in this video, uh, I have actually today I have several videos coming. I got about yeah, I got about three videos coming today. And this first video is going to be on mom. Well, actually, all the videos are going to be on mom. Uh, I want first of all, I want to apologize to my um, the people who requested me to make a video on the mom language. I've been very busy lately, and. Uh, been very busy lately and was unable to get some videos out for mom. Uh, despite getting other videos out, I wanted to make sure I will have a solid video for this mom language. Um, I can't remember the guy's name, but he requested it a while back. Uh, he wanted to learn more about the RPA. So uh, what I'm going to do in these videos here, the first two videos, I'm going to first, I'm going to go ahead and just explain the RPA, the pronunciations, the pronunciations and whatnot. And then in the second video, I'm going to do some personal pronouns and interrogatives just to get the um, to get our mom learners started in language, get you guys pointing the right direction on what you should be learning first. So uh, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys these books I've recently bought. Um, okay, first we have this book here. I just bought this last week from uh, oh. I just bought this last week online from a site called Mong ABC, and I believe this is it in Minnesota, I think. So this is, I think this is new, because I didn't see it before. Mong to English phrase book and glossary, and just to get, just to let you guys know, um, <clears throat> the RPA, the things I'm going to be explaining in these videos, they're all coming from this book here. So. Just to let you guys know that the stuff you're going to see here that I'm going to be writing on the board is from, that stuff is from this book here. So uh, those of you, if you're interested in buying this book, I will post a link where you can buy it. So this is, uh, yeah, I was looking through it and it's pretty good. I like how they had the pronunciation of the uh, letters and stuff. I'm going to show you guys that here in a second. So I just bought this from that site. Okay. And I bought these here. Okay. So we have some long readers, some long readers. All right. So this is uh, basically it says like you uh, practice, you know you. Practice reading Hmong. It's a Hmong reader. You practice reading Hmong. Okay. So I thought this was pretty interesting. So I decided to go ahead and get this. All right. About that. And this here. This is another book for studying Hmong. All right. So all these books are on Mong ABC. If you guys are interested, and like I said, I will put the link. I put put the link here. Where you guys can go check it out. And I really love Paho System. This is I had to snatch this up. I was so excited when I first saw this because I didn't see it before. Some stuff on Paho. So I'm trying to bring this. I'm trying to get this Paho. I know they, they, they you know, the Mong. A lot of Mongs use this this system. I want to. I, I, I pray one day this it will be used just as much as Chinese. You know, not all Mongs can read this, but I hope. I hope. I hope one day everyone will be using this system. So my goal is to. I'm when I, when I start. You know. The videos I'm going to make, I'm going to go ahead and try to, I'm going to use all PAHO, okay? I'm going to use this whole system. I'm not going to use RPA anymore unless I have to. But this here, this is what I'm trying to use the whole time. This. Of course, you have to learn RPA first so you can have a good idea how these things are pronounced. Just like Chinese, like when you learn Chinese characters, you have to... Um, the pinyin, most of the time people learn pinyin. This, uh, for foreigners, they learn pinyin system. So it's just like the same thing with Hmong. You learn RPA first and then you learn the, you learn this Paho. So, you know, it's good. It's part of the language, so why not? Why not take advantage of it? 
people say, oh, it's useless. No one uses it. Well, it's, it's, it's I wouldn't say no one uses it, but there are people you out there using it. Apparently, they, they've made a book. They're teaching children. So why not? Let's learn it. Let's get let's get let's get on the let's get on the ball. Let's let's do this. Let's do it. Okay? We get motivated. We can do it. Okay? So I don't know if I made I don't know if I made a video on this. Um, this is like a, the newest dictionary I bought. The the last one was just a mom to English. Okay? This is English to mom, mom to English. This is a really good dictionary. And I bought this from the same website. I've actually had this for a few months now. So, again, I'll post a link where you guys can get this book here. Unfortunately, uh, you can't go to UZ Translation. Oh, that's what I forgot. I forgot to mention something about UZ Translation. Um, yeah, I started making videos for UZ Translations a while back. So, uh, I think the, the, um, the, the uh, what's his name? I can't remember the guy's name, but the uh, main person of the site, created the site, he contacted me. He said he liked my videos and asked me if I if I would be willing to, you know, post up some of my lessons videos there so uh, to help others. So I decided to do that. So um, I meant to mention that in the beginning of this video. So those of you who are watching this video, uh, you can find, you want to uh, go, I'll, I'll put the link up where you can go to UZ Translations and find, uh, they have a lot of rare resources for um, rare languages. So uh, because I like to study rare languages, I don't mind putting my videos up there to help others. So uh, definitely, you definitely want to go there, and it's worth it because they have, like I said, they have a lot of resources and whatnot that you, you know. But anyway, let's get started here. Uh, hold on for a second. My screen closed. My capture screen. All right. So, like I said, we have RPA. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust my camera for you. Okay, I hope you guys can see that. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Where's my marker? Where's my marker? Okay. All right, so this is the RPA everyone talks about. This is the first system. This is what you learn know, on. Before you learn Paho, this is a system you will want to learn first. You have to learn this first. Okay, it only makes sense to learn this first. So I'm going to explain to you guys, just show you um, how certain words are enunciated and whatnot. And again, these are from that book I just showed you. Okay, these aren't, I didn't make these up. Now I've already knew how to pronounce these words before, but I just went ahead and took the stuff out of that book. Okay, and just wrote it up here. So. Uh, go ahead and let you guys know that first. So, okay, so this is the RPA pronunciation, all right? And I like how they have this set up because they give you, they, they, they first they give you the letter, and then they give you the, the pronunciation of the letter, how it sounds, and then they give you an example, uh, an English word, you know, a, a similar pronunciation, okay? So let's start with this first letter here, the C, okay? The C will be a J sound, J, J, J as in ridge, ridge. So you want to look at this, this end and part here, ridge. The D is a J sound, okay? The K is, is a G, as in give, G, G, okay? The P is in P, is in BP, is in speak. Sounds like the P in speak, speak, all right? And then the Q is a K sound, and like as in kind, kind, kind. All right. And the R is a D sound, as in deer, as in deer. The S is a sh sound, as in rush, rush. All right. And the T sound, the T sound is like a th, like the D, T, H, th, as in with, th, with, with, th, th, with. All right? Now, over here, T, S is a ch sound, as in check, 
check. Check. X is a s. S. Z is a j, as in, or not j, but j. Sorry about that. J as in vision. Vision. See, I'm. My brain switched over to Chinese there because in Chinese, the H is a j sound, but in Hmong, it's a j. It's a j. Vision. Vision. Okay. T X is a t. T as in ads. As an ad. Those of you who study Chinese, this TX is similar to the Z sound of T. T. It's the same sound. T. Ad. T. Okay, NPL is a mbl, 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 mbl sound. Mbl. As an imply. 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 And then the TH is as in talk. Ta. Talk. It's sort of aspirated. As in talk. Okay, so those are your those are your consonants for the RPA. Now, since I didn't have enough space, I've made this. I use my other marker board for the vowels. Okay, so let's go to the vowels here. All right, make sure I get this lined up here. Okay, so you guys see the vowels. You guys. Can you guys see the vowels here? Ah. Mm. Okay, so as you can see, starting with I, starting with the A, oh. okay, starting with the A, as in I, this A is I, as in father, A, I, as in father, okay? Second, AI, I as in I. You guys, those of you who study Chinese, it's that same A, same pronunciation for AI. I, I as in ice, ice, I. AU is out. AU will be out as in out. AU, out as in out. Okay? E is A. An A sound, as an ace. Ace. So if you see an E, it's an A sound. Okay, ace. E double E will be it's an E like ing, as in English. Ing, as in English. Ing, E, E English. Okay, and now here you have an I. Sounds like an E. Okay, the I sounds like the I sounds like an E. I'm trying to keep this straight so you guys can. Okay. So the I is the I sound the I sounds like an E as a tree. Okay, I <clears throat> I E is a tree. Now let's move up here. So O. The O sound is sounds like aw. It's aw. Aw, as in autumn. Aw, O sound sounds like aw, as in autumn. Double O is a O, like om, 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 as in song, om, song. Like Z, like um, like they have uh, in in Hmong, they have like the Z O O, like they say nyajong, 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 like like hi nyajong. So nyajong, nyajong. So N Y O B N Y O will be as uh, as the tonation, um, and then O as you see N Y O. Remember I told you the the O, the o N Y O sounds like O N Y O, and then J O N Z O O J O N Y O J O N Y O J O. So O double O will be O sound. Okay. So, uh, the U is a U, as in food. The U is U as in food. Okay. Uh, let's see here. The W is like a as in U, like U, like U as in treasure. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. I guess you say yeah, treasure. Yeah. Like S, S. This is an example. S. This is like just in Hmong. S, S, U. 
C C U C C I love this word C C okay so those are the files I hope that was comprehensible for you uh, for you guys and um, yeah that's it so the next video I'm gonna go ahead and um, the next video I'm going to make is going to be on personal pronouns and interrogatives so these are the um, consonants and I just showed you the vowels there so as usual those of you those of you who speak Hmong native speakers of Hmong if something here is uh, weird or you know weird pronunciation something you know inaccurate just go ahead and you know as usual leave a comment and uh, let us know because we're all learning we're all learners of we're all learners of the language so we if I make mistakes I will definitely love you to post post that in the comment area because that's going to not only help me it's going to help others who are learning the language so we will not just me but we all will appreciate that for the uh, correction so uh, this will be this will conclude the video for these consonants and vowels and I will be right back with the uh, interrogatives and personal pronouns. Thanks for viewing the video.